Hey, you ones, welcome back to my channel, 20BLV Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro. It's just this hoe. Hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend. Um, I will get a little serious with you for <laughs> a minute. Hopefully, I won't ball like a baby, but um, this is the first video that I have made since my mother passed, and here it goes. <laughs> I just wanted to thank everybody. Um, she passed away on April the 8th, and uh, we knew that she was ill and she was in hospice care, so we sort of, you know, knew that it was going to happen, so we were prepared. So I went ahead and uh, I recorded a bunch of videos ahead of time because I knew when it happened that I wouldn't... Um, I'd be in any kind of state. I would be like this the whole time to record a video for you guys. So, um, I am going to keep it moving. I am going to um, do what she would have wanted me to do, and that is to keep being myself, um, do what makes me happy, and this makes me happy. Um, and I'm going to just keep right on with that. I do want to thank everybody who reached out to me and... Um, you know, was supportive and left me kind messages and comments and, um, people who sent me messages. I adore you and I appreciate that so much. Um, you know, I got flowers and it was just, I, I felt so much love from everybody, um, in just such a horrible time. I just feel lost without my mom. So, I am going to continue doing videos and... You know, I'm going to pour myself into work, and I'm going to stay busy because I've found over the last couple weeks uh, during this whole time that um, keeping busy and keeping my mind busy and keeping active sort of keeps me going and doesn't allow me to dwell on the negative things and the, you know, I just want to, I want to be positive about her and because she was a positive person and she was a huge influence on me and my brother and my sister and there you go <laughs> so <clears throat> let me go clean up these tears and I'll be right back with this video today I promise and and we'll push on and we will have fun okay so let's do the damn thing Okay, I'm back, guys. All right, so we're just going to push right on. This is a collab video with my friend, my best friend, Don't Tell Yota. She gets very possessive and jealous, <laughs> but me and Autumn know it's me and her, ride or die. But anyhow, yes, <laughs> Autumn and I are doing a Fendi unboxing, girl. Finally, I think we've arrived. Um, all I've seen lately is... Okay, well, lately it's been that Chanel heart bag, but other than that, it's Fendi, 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 Fendi. Everywhere you look, it's on Fendi, and I was feeling like left out, like, I've been influenced here. I need to get something Fendi, too, because I don't have the first thing that is Fendi, but now I do. She does. Oh, my gosh, who are you? Yes, I am the Got Rocks. I had a friend who used to call... Uh, <laughs> Uh, rich people, you know, she worked in a hospital, she was a nurse, and she'd say, oh, that's just them got rocks over there, they can wait, <laughs> but that, that's what she called all mega rich people was got rocks, so now, am I a got rocks girl? Maybe, I don't know, no, she never will be that, but <laughs> we did get this, um, I will tell you I've been grief buying, um, I think I told you that in a couple videos that I recorded previously to my mom dying, I did say some things like, you know, when I'm sad, mad, happy, glad. Yeah, and I've been pretty sad for the last, you know, several months. So, girl, I have been, if you've wondered, what what is she doing? Yes, I have been, and this is no different, but scent of the day, which is this, the OG Gucci Guilty Girl. Um, I believe they changed the formula a little bit. This is the EDT. So the projection is, eh, it's okay. Um, you do, I, I get about three or four hours out of this and that's it. Um, so yeah, I've been wearing this today. This is what I put on. Um, 
she's got a little bit of like, I don't know, sometimes she's sexy and dirty and all the things that I like. And then sometimes she's real girly and feminine to me. I don't know. I can't place it. There's a little peach in there. There's some musky. T I mean, I don't know. It's just good. It's just good. And this is the OG, like I said. So this is a the older version. I think they changed. I don't know for sure because I don't have the newest one. I know they changed the packaging on it. I'm pretty sure about that. And they have the Gucci Guilty Intense as well, which I don't have. I should try that because this EDT, um, she's good, but you know, you got to spray it again if you want it to keep going all day. But I do love the scent of this, my OG. Oh yeah, Gucci Guilty Girl. Yes, girl. Yes. Okay, bag of the day. I can't. I cannot get out of this bag. There is some evil voodoo magic from Marc Jacobs. He has put a daggone hex on me. Mm-hmm. And I am still. I don't know how it, what has it been? Two months. <laughs> I'll just show her to you because why not? Cinder F and Rella, she's right here. I love this bag so much. It's to me, it's a knock around bag. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to mess it up. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, if something, you know, did happen to it, if it got a little nick or a little scratch or something, I'd be sad, but I wouldn't be like, oh, gosh, no. I'd be, you know, oh, well, she's a knock-around bag. It's okay. So I do treat this just, I don't baby it at all. Throw it in the car, drag it out of the car, crossbody. I, I love, 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 love the voodoo that you do so well. <laughs> yes, girl. Okay, let's just go on and get into it. Dun, 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 Girl, I was thinking about doing the autumn spin just on the, on the bag, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, it's a momentous occasion for me. I don't have any <laughs> Fendi, so. Okay, so what came? This is weird, too. Uh, I have a, a black dust bag that has, <laughs> like, cards, envelopes, all little... I don't know. I guess the accoutrement that comes with Fendi. Right? Okay. But that's... There's no bag or nothing in there, girl. But this... Oh, what? Let's put that bag back there for some eye candy, too. Let's put our mark back here. Oh, God. Honey, voodoo mark. Get back there. I'm going to call that bag voodoo. It has to be. Because <laughs> it's... It's got a hold on me. Okay. So here's the little box. It's a bag. And y'all know me. I freaking love some micro tiny bags, guys. If you've seen any videos of my wish list or if you've heard me talking or seen me on Instagram talking about this, I wanted this with a red hot burning passion. I mean, I say that about everything, but this, I lost my damn mind. Autumn said, this is available over here. Go get it. I did, and I don't feel bad about it. One, of, it, and it is one of my mom's favorite colors, so I felt like, well, it's, it's meant to be, right? She would want me to have it too, and really, she probably would. She thought my bag obsession was crazy. Don't get it twisted. She thought it was crazy, but she also loved it because if she had friends over, she'd say, "Winnie, go get your bag. Show them your bag." Now tell them how much that bag costs. I mean, she just loved that. She got the biggest kick out of that. So I had fun with that too. But anyway, girl, you already know that it is. Da, da, da. <laughs> it's the Dango White, my baby. It's the tiny, tiny baby to Dale's Sex in the City bag. What? Oh my God. This is the first time I've seen it too. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, let's do an autumn spin on this tiny, fabulous bag. You ready? Okay, 
I went a little dramatic there, but you know me, drama queen till the end. So this is, I think this is typically a bag charm for one of your bigger, way more expensive Fendi bags, which I don't own. So that's okay. I'd put this on any damn bag at this point because she cute. Oh, girl, but this is optional. You can use this, and I would think this would be cute, like, on your belt loop, um, and it hangs down. This is so funny, but on my belt loop, it would hang down just enough past my fat roll that my shirt would cover my fat roll, and this would stick out, and that's perfect. Like, the combination, it's meant to be, girl, but anyhow... Yes, it is in perfect condition, of course. Um, I did buy it pre-loved, but I don't think the person ever even took it out of the plastic or anything as far as that goes. But it's got his little crossbody chain. Girl, look how tiny this chain is. What? Okay, we're going to do this. So inside is a little separator for your cards, which I think the only thing going in this bag is... Some chapstick, as you know, maybe a piece of gum, tic, -toc, tic Tacs, or Altoids in my case. I like Altoids. Um, and some cards, and that is it. Oh, I love the oh, it's silky yellow, mm, like the real one, or like the real one, like the big one. This one is real. <laughs> it's just not full size. She hasn't grown. I'm going to add water tonight and see if she grows bigger. That's something else entirely, and you know what I'm talking about. I'm being nasty. Yeah, overtly nasty. Okay. <laughs> I'm in mourning, guys. I can do that. I got to. So, let's see. Here's a look. I mean, it looks like a necklace. Somebody did say, Jacqueline, was it Jacqueline King? Yes. She said, maybe. No, no, it wasn't Jacqueline. Oh, gosh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Ah! But anyway, one of you said on my last video, on my collection video, I can't wait to see you wear these as a necklace. And I'm like, I oh, know, girl. But look how long this mother effer is. I think it's going to work. I don't know. I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. We're already into some voodoo today, so let's don't jinx it. Okay, let's see. The telltale sign. Ooh. This chain is so dainty. But listen, somebody try to grab this off of me one day. Ooh, girl, you will get a fight <laughs> to the death. <laughs> oh, gosh, guys. Okay, here she is. I thought this was magnetic. That's why when I first did it, I was like, what's going on? It's an actual snapper. Okay, <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> But check this out, girl. Check it out. Okay, let me. Oh, snap. They thought of everything over there at Fendi. Yes, they did. Girl, she works. Look where she comes to. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look at me. Look, look, look. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my gosh. All day, every day, I will wear this as a friggin' bag. And I'll take, you know, I'll take voodoo in my car if I need any of my, you know, big essentials, but this should be so magnifique. Now, it's got a little thing on the back, which is for your belt, so I think that is even cooler. Uh, so, it could be a bag charm. It could be a belt bag. It can be a crossbody. It's got the little chain. It can be a bag charm the possibilities. That's what I love about a little tiny bag is the versatility of it all. I mean, it could be this. It could be that. It could be anything you want. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love this. Okay, we're going to put the little thing away because she's cross right now. Oh, yeah, girl. I don't want to tear any of these little glitteratis off, you know what I mean? Okay, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> I guess I could wear it as a necklace. I could double this up and, and wear it as, an, as a necklace, right? <laughs> yes, I could. She can do whatever she wants. She's, she's mine. She's all, okay, yes. Okay, add that to the list of things she is. Yes, girl, yes. Oh, my. Gosh, I love it. I can't even tell you how excited I am about this tiny bag moment right now. I, 
<sighs> I'll just tell you this. I needed some excitement today, y'all. I needed it. And this was just with Dr. Horner. Look. Oh my gosh. I love. I am in love. Oh man, am I in love. Okay. Tell me what you think about this. Are you excited? I'm excited to see just what. Okay. How am I going to get it off? That's what she said again. <laughs> okay. Tell me what you think about it and also what I was going to say is I can't wait to see what Fendi bag that my friend Autumn got and I know it is going to be fabulous as this probably a little more fabulous but girl now I want the big one of course I do I've been saying I want a little um you know I want to I want to venture into the Fendi but I think it is more um I'm being influenced because I swear, every time you turn around, it's somebody's, huh, I'm unboxing a Fendi. If it's not the Chanel heart bag, which, of course, I've always, I love hearts, and, of course, everybody loves Chanel, but getting that bag, no, ma'am, she's, but never say never, because I'll put it out there in the world and hope that it comes back. I looked at one from, was it in the 90s, the last time they made that one with the CC, the dark CC, the black, like, pink, trimmed in black leather, and was quilted and everything. I think uh, Farfetch or somebody had a used one for, I would say it was like $27,000. <laughs> like, what now? I come again? No. For $27,000, you could get that box that has the four different tiny little Chanel bags. What am I talking about? We're not even talking about Chanel today. We're talking about Fendi. Go over, check out Autumn's video. Um, can't wait to see it. Thank you again for all of your well wishes. Um, everyone has been so kind to me. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe and also hit the like button down there. And if you would, put me a little comment on your thoughts about this. Um, tell me your scent of the day too, because I am very interested in scents right now. I've gone scent crazy, as you know. And remember guys, if I could tell you one thing and you would do it for me, Please, if y'all see my husband, don't tell him nothing. Bye. Okay, because you guys don't really respond when I post a scent video. I'm just going to show you a new scent that I found at TJ for, I want to say 60 bucks, 50 or 60 bucks. It's called Juliet Has a Gun, okay, um, and it's called Not a Perfume. Guys, this has one note in it. It's called Satellox, which is, I think, the chemical um, makeup. It's the smell, the chemical smell of um, ambergris, like the stuff that's made from whales, right? That shows up on the beaches, and they put it in all the perfumes, but it's very, very expensive. So they made, you know, a synthetic version of ambergris and this is it oh my gosh this is my nighttime scent i will just tell you it is so good i've worn it to bed the last couple nights I'm very very excited about it it's just one thing it would be great to layer with or to lay with hey <laughs> but check it oh my gosh i wish you guys could smell this stuff the bottle is so pretty too but I sprayed it a little too far out. Oh my gosh, so good. It's like it's like earthy and musky and a little bit of amber in there, of course. It's just so good on. I love it. This is what I'm wearing to bed almost every night. Bill likes it too. He loves the way I smell when I up to bed, which haha <laughs> may get me lucky one day. Keep our fingers crossed, girl. Oh yes. But I love this. I mean, give that a sniff. I wish you guys could. It's like this. I smell sex and candy. Yeah. <laughs> what? Guys, has this Fendi bag finally made me part of the cool bitches? Bitches? <laughs> yes.